Hey, it's Kane, and I'm going to be talking about Road Course Tycoon. DFM actually said in the interview, and um, the producers, what the game's going to have, and how the multiplayer's going to work, and stuff like that. Um, you haven't seen the teaser trailer that's on screen now, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so yeah, the producers have revealed more about online. I'll go on to say now, um, so yeah, you might have heard about the online, and um, people do know how it's going to work. But you've actually cleared up a lot of these um, rumours that it's going to be like SimCity and stuff like that. You've um, basically said um, how the plots are going to work because um, you can have one theme back that's controlled by four players and um, by your friends or random people. Right? How it's going to work is you're going to get your um, designated spot and it's all the other three plots um, around you are going to be connected by monorail and I'm guessing paths and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, they're all going to be connected, but um, each of you um, will only be able to build on your plot and they'll connect the government one big massive theme park. And um, so yeah, these big theme parks, um, basically four players and um, you get a plot. And there's four plots to make one theme park and um, it's really that simple. They'll be connected by monorail, but that's all you think say is monorail, but also I guess paths. Um, um, so yeah, about online, a lot of people are saying, will it be like SimCity where you have to have online and you only launch offline like a few months ago. Um, you've actually turned around and said there will be offline mode if you don't wish to play with friends or play online with random people or maybe you don't always have internet connection. You can actually play offline, but if you want to play online with friends, you can go online. Um, so yeah, that's cleared up a lot of the rooms. Everyone thought it's going to be like SimCity where it wouldn't have an offline mode and annoy people. Um, but yeah, there is offline mode and also there's a completely new online mode and um, multiplayer that um, looks quite cool and it's the first in the Roll Course Tycoon series. Um, so it looks good. Um, so yeah, they've um, also simplified the Roll Course experience. Um, they actually said. Um, the people who are making the Roller Coast Tycoon are actually playing on the old games and um, looking at how fun it was um, and stuff like that. One of the things you did notice it was a bit annoying building a roller coaster. Um, they actually making it easier and um, more fun um, and creative making them now um, and also it takes less time and um, so it's more quicker. Um, you haven't really said how that's going to work, but I'm guessing we'll see more in the coming months. I'm guessing there will be more trailers or videos and stuff like that on YouTube and um, to get fans excited and gain new fans. Um, so yeah, they went on to say they've also cleared up the UI. If you don't remember the UI of Roll Course Tiger 1 and 2, um, it was at the top and it was a bit um, retro. Um, I admit they could have um, decluttered it a bit and um, made it a bit more simpler. But you actually have said the clearing up the UI making it easier to use and um, also the game's going to be more creative so it sounds good. And um, so yeah the producers went on to say all roller coaster tycoons will jump with joy and um, the the engine is entirely in 3D too and all the scenery looks fantastic and coasters. Um, so yeah, basically saying the graphics look kind of cool and in 3D now and also saying all Roll Cross Tycoon vans will like it. Up to now I saw the images, they actually do look quite cool. Um, but yeah, they haven't released anything else apart from that. These are just the main points. I'll leave it the article in the description, the link, um, if you want to click on it. Um, I'm going to be uploading more Roll Cross Tycoon news so you can keep tuning this channel. Also give me a thumbs up um, if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them, but I will get back to you. Um, apart from that, um, not else much to say. I'll leave all the links in the description if you want to have a look at them. Um, but yeah, keep tuned.